Aries, welcome back to the channel. It's me, OU, with another tarot card message for you today. Make sure you come out liking, subscribing, adding value to the channel so that we continue to grow. We are out here at the park. Finally, the weekend's here. I can do some tarot. <laughs> but, yeah, we're having a good weekend so far. Hopefully, you enjoyed Friday the 13th. We have the full moon on the way. Make sure you... Um, Get your chakras aligned, man. Let's see what spirit has in store for you today. What energies are currently surrounding Aries? What messages are coming toward Aries? Spirit messages for fire sign Aries today. Using the everyday witch tarot deck. deck. <laughs> okay, hold up. <laughs> the Pied Piper deck today before I start double talking in this bitch. All right. <laughs> what messages for the fire sign Aries today? Let's see what's grounding your reading. The Knight of Cups, okay. Romantic advance, possibly a date coming towards you. Pisces, Leo, Aquarius. Sorry, Pisces, Leo, Cancer energy. Hmm. You have to uh, you have to give me a little bit of room today, man. It's been a while since I did some tarot. Do we even still know how to do tarot? <laughs> Plus, I had a little bit of wine before I came out. All right. Yeah, so you could be dealing with someone that's romantically attracted to you. They may come towards you with some sort of a romantic advance. Nine of Wands. We get a little bit of F-boy energy here. A wounded warrior. Someone that's carrying around their scars or their triggers here. Four of Wands. Yeah, a relationship here. This would be known as a Twin Flame card because of the 11-11 synchronicity that we would see on the card. Mm -hmm. We see all four witches raising their wands in unison. 11-11. So possibly a wounded warrior coming towards you with some sort of a relationship. It could be a very karmic um, type of attraction. You know, that's what we have to deal with in the earth plane where we deal with attachments. Again, we love something so bad that we don't want to let it go. And then it scars us when it's time for us to release them. King of Swords energy here. Strong air sign Aquarius Major Arcana. I'm sorry, Aquarius uh, court card. Again, yeah. It's been a while since I've done some tarot. We have the Ace of Swords. Clarity coming in here. This would be the truth. Just like the a hot knife cutting through butter. This would be some sort of a clarity, some sort of a truth. Um, bringing clarity to a situation here. Mm -hmm. So the King of Swords is coming out with a sword here. Ten of Pentacles. This could possibly be some sort of a book. Possibly a will or some sort somebody's working on a will or possibly some sort of a marriage agreement here Ten of Pentacles symbolizes the family here legacy family structure Business partnerships work that sort of thing mm -hmm. I can pull some more messages for uh, Aries today. We have the star sign. Yeah, heavy air sign energy more Aquarius possibly dealing with a strong Aquarius Sun moon rising Venus North node all of the above Possibly a healer as well. This could have something to do with internet. You know, the air signs rule the internet and social media, the World Wide Web, Three of Swords. Something about third parties or attention here comes right on top of Four of Wands. So maybe someone is feeling inadequate in a relationship. Possibly feeling like they're not getting enough attention. Hmm. This could be third parties. We do have the F-boy energy here with the Nine of Wands. Let's see what else we get here. Four Swords. A lot of air signs, Swords energy coming up in here. Someone needs to get some sort of a mental resolution going here. Clarity, this could be possibly... Hmm, am I getting intuition or am I just getting mental... Some sort of a mental uh, fortitude or toughness someone needs to develop here. Because Four of Swords would, would be your grounding energy. It would be like your foundations with the Four. It's like a, a Fours are about structure. Like the four walls of a home. With it being Swords, it's your uh, thoughts and your words here. Possibly needing to get your thoughts and words together or possibly watching your thoughts and words. We have nine of pentacles. Yeah, what you say could affect your finances and your relationships. Mm -hmm. So we have synchronicities, nine of wands and nine of pentacles. Last message, we have the moon card, something being hidden here. So I'm getting a lot of research here. This could possibly have something to do with school or college for someone, possibly a work, uh, test, new ideas uh, springing forth. Mm, I am getting a will as well, possibly a living will. With the King of Swords coming out, that is some sort of a lawmaker, some sort of a, a rule regulator. Mm, 
any additional messages here knight of cups could be a slow romantic offer here or someone out of the uh, out of the norm not necessarily getting opposites attract uh but it could be far from your usual here depending on the type of person you are you could be tra attracting a person that's very silent if you're very outgoing or vice versa the only uh, two major arcana I see coming out here is the uh, star and the moon. So that's Aquarius and Cancer. Yeah, could be dealing with a um, possibly a content creator or maybe uh, like a scientist, a book writer or something like that. Someone that stays um, stays to themselves, possibly um, has been through some sort of a emotional trigger. Um, they're seeking death, though. So, yeah, they're, they're seeking something that's outside of the norm here. They could be prospecting you or taking you through some sort of a vetting process here the moon card reflecting you see the black cat reflecting the um the black panther and the water here but that's what i have for you here today aries make sure you like share subscribe add value to the channel there is some sort of a truth coming in towards you or possibly walking some sort of a borderlines or borderlands i'm not sure what that means Again, possibly uh, getting outside of your immediate vicinity. This could be traveling the internet, possibly social media, some sort of a dating app. I'm not 100% sure. This could also be a course as well. This isn't a relationship. This is someone trying to learn something, expanding their knowledge. All right? Occultism here with the moon. But that's what I have. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. Catch you on the next one. Peace.